is up, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Amethyst, and you are here watching Amethyst Budgets. I am a low-income cash stuffer. I am 22 years old, living on my own in my own uh, low-income apartment, and I'm currently working towards having some more financial freedom. I'm not quite sure where my end goal is, but I know that I want to be safe and secure when I get there. So, with all that said, today's video is going to be the last check-in for the month of April. Um, this month was not quite what I had initially hoped it to be. Um, if you've been following along, you know that I had some pretty big financial goals and I really did not meet them, um, even a little bit. But I'm trying not to beat myself up too much. Uh, this month has also had some really good things and this past week I feel like I finally have broken free of whatever funk, um, <laughs> depressive episode, whatever you want to call it. I'm finally getting my head straight a little bit better so um, we're going to talk a little bit about that. We're going to have a little bit of story time in today's video so feel free to skip around using the timeline feature uh, if that's not something that you particularly enjoy watching. We're going to get started by going through my binders and seeing if there's any money that needs to be pulled out and brought to the bank. I'm fairly certain there isn't, um, but we're just going to double check just in case. So this is like my sinking funds and we don't have anything in that one to pull out. I believe this is my cash. Um, my cash, what am I trying to say? My cash bills. Um, but the debt one is actually stuff that's online and I have made a $20 payment so we're going to take that away. Um, this is the money that is in my bank account online and I just pull the fake bills to represent um, the money that's being removed. It's just like a visual for me because that's really important for me. This money is going into my credit card um, account so we're going to set that right here for right now. This covers Spotify and one other one, but I can't remember right now. Um, this is my pet envelope. I know it says dog and it has a cat on it, but it is for my baby rats. They're not babies anymore, but I'm gonna, I'm, a, I'm always gonna call them babies. And, um, wow, that was loud. Okay, that was Etsy. Someone bought something. <laughs> but that is going um, towards my PNC account, so I guess I can separate that because I bought them some rat food. I'm trying out the Shunamite diet, which is like a specific diet for, um, like, for rats. It's like when you put a dog on wet food, it's the same concept but for rats because it's like supposed to be a lot healthier for them. And I'm, I want to get into it, but it's a lot of information. So I, I'm starting off by getting some from Etsy. So I bought someone's m mix from Etsy. I don't know why I'm stumbling over my words so much. Um, my electric bill was pulled out and I was a little bit in the negative. Um, Wi-Fi is the same thing. So... Actually, Wi-Fi, I was good. Um, and then what ended up happening, so Wi-Fi is 25. So the extra five that I was over for electric, I just put into electric. Does that make sense? I don't know. The $5 that was in Wi-Fi went to electric. <laughs> Health insurance was pulled out. That was $24. And we're going to go over all of this also in the video. And I was over. This month was a rough one for me. And I am genuinely nervous that I might not be able to make rent without dipping into all of my savings accounts. Um, yeah, that was it for these. So this money is going to my Chase credit card and this money is going into my PNC bank. So we're going to get into what I spent my money on first. So we have the pink highlight for things that were planned for and the purple highlight for things that were not planned for. So last we stopped, I believe, on this day here. So my health insurance was taken out of my account. It was $40, $45. Um, I didn't have the full amount, but I am going to say that it was budgeted for nonetheless. That wasn't what I meant to do. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. Um, Home Depot, this was for the rats, so not really budgeted for because, yeah. It was part of the rat cage that I ended up purchasing. I had to buy some nuts and bolts for the rat cage that I purchased, but something fun that happened. So the pink rat cage that I had before that I was trying to return, the company reached out to me and was like, hey, you can just keep it, we'll give you a full refund, um, but don't worry about sending it back to us. So now I have this like rat cage that's just sitting in storage, so I'm not sure... I, I can't use it because my rats are too small, but I'm holding on to it just in case. Maybe 
maybe they'll have a growth spurt or something or maybe one day I can get male rats which are bigger than female and then I can have one cage for the female, one for the males. I don't know, but um, moving on, coffee was not budgeted for. Gas, <laughs> gas was budgeted for and Aldi was groceries which was also budgeted for. McDonald's was not budgeted for. And if you're wondering where I'm getting all this money, that's a good question. Um, let me know if you find the answer because yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. I mostly, unfortunately, I'm still kind of using my credit cards for certain things and I've been using my buffer account, which I don't want to do. Um, and this is why I do cash stuffing, because if I have money in my account, I just, I forget about the bills or I'm like, it'll be fine. I could just deal with it later. And then I spend the money and it's not good. And I'm trying so hard to break these habits, but it is, it is hard. It really is when like, you're not used to having good spending. It's a habit. Like any habit, it's hard to build up and it's really easy to break. So just trying to work through it. Um, my Simply Safe was unfortunately not fully budgeted for. So I honestly am thinking about getting rid of this one because I have my ring doorbell and no one is going to mess with me with the ring doorbell. Like it really is such an amazing thing to have. People do not want to mess with you or your packages when you have one of those. So. Um, yeah, my Wi-Fi was budgeted for. My wall, okay, this one was definitely not budgeted for. So, I specifically purchased my health insurance with the idea that my medication was going to be $15, because that's what it said on the thingy. Turns out the medication that I was prescribed, also, fun fact, I went to the doctor again, so yay for me. I went there for my ADHD medication because I haven't been on it and I really wanted to get back on it. Um, and then for, there's something wrong with me, I am like tired all of the time and it could very much well be connected to the ADHD or to the eating, I won't say eating disorder, but disordered eating. Um, because, you know, food is energy, so if you're not eating food, you're not getting energy, so I would be tired all the time, it makes sense. But it's like, I'll eat and I pass out. Like, I I cannot function after I eat anything, even if it's a salad. So I went and I got some blood work done. Blood work came back fine, which might sound like a good thing, but in all reality, it just puts me back at square one. So um, that's fun, but when I went to pick up my medication, it turns out that the brand they have me on, or the type of medication that I use, to take is not one of the preferred medications through my health insurance. So now I have to contact my health insurance, find out what ADHD medication they do want me to be taking, and then hope that it works for me um, because the preferred medications are $15, but if it's not the ones that they prefer, it's $75. So that was a big hit, and that came out of well, actually, why don't we do this now? Because that actually came out of my emergency accounts. So I have to go in here and remove this. I completely forgot, actually, this this might be, this might be good. So I have to take it out of both of these because it's, I mean, I don't know. To me, it's an emergency. I really wasn't expecting it to be more than 15. If it was 15, I would have just put it on a credit card, honestly. But now I have to, unfortunately, take it out of this and put this back into my bank account so we got 35 Ugh. I can't think about it <laughs> I can't think about it I'm okay it'll be okay we're gonna we're gonna get our money right we're gonna get it right I have to just keep trying um so that was really unfortunate but I'm on medication now I feel like crap every day anyone who is on a new who has ever been on new medication especially ones for um neurodivergency like any type of antidepressants, anti-anxiety, ADHD, um, any of those types of like stimulant medications do a number on your body physically. Like my, my, in, <laughs> my core has just been in complete shambles for the past week. Hopefully these side effects go away soon though, cause it is not fun. I like, yeah, it is not fun. I won't give you guys too much team, too much information, but uh, Chipotle was not budgeted for, so this was on my birthday, and, um, I might not celebrate my birthday, but I'm gonna take some free stuff, so Chipotle had, like, free chips and guac, so I went and I got a burrito, which lasted me for lunch and dinner, because portions are big, disordered eating, you know, it works great, um, <laughs> 
Sorry, that was a bad joke. But for real, their portions are huge. So I got a bowl and then I got a wrap on the side and it was easy to split into two different meals. Um, so that wasn't budgeted for. And then CVS, this also wasn't budgeted for. So on this day, Tuesday, my friend got her wisdom teeth removed and um, I picked her up from the doctors to bring her home and we had to stop by CVS to pick up her medication for it. And it was five bucks and like, I just, I just covered it. I don't even think she remembers that I covered it, but I just covered it, so. Then we're going over to Costco, which we're gonna color like half and half because it was technically budgeted for, but not really. So in case you didn't notice, I did not have a cash stuffing last week. This week, I didn't have a cash stuffing blah, 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 this week. And um, the reason being was because I knew I was going to Costco. I didn't know how much I was gonna be spending. And I'm so, <laughs> I just was like, you know what? I'm going to go to Costco, I'm going to fill my car up, and then I'm going to take all of the money and just put it towards rent. That's where I'm at right now. I am not sure if I'm going to have my rent money this month, so I'm probably going to end up next week also giving you guys like a moving my money around video because that's that's just where I'm at. Um, so that's kind of sucky, but um, it is what it is. Then we have some gas, a gas bill, and this was actually for the membership for Gas Buddy. So... It was budgeted for. Um, UPS was not budgeted for because this was a business expense. Um, yeah, so that was a business expense. I printed out some of my bill swap bill slips. And then we have an Etsy payment, which was I don't know why it switched the color. Not budgeted for. This is the one that was for the rat food. So that's what that's what's going on now. I have laundry, which is technically budget, budgeted for. I put it into my rent money. Um, and then my Duke was also budgeted for. I didn't have the full budget, but uh, budgeted for. And then today is the 29th, and I'm already going to do it because... Um, Whoops, because I know for a fact I am not spending money today. I literally could not, I can't. <laughs> so we're doing a no spend sticker for this. And then on Saturday I didn't spend any money. So yay for no spends. So for having been in such financial turmoil this month, I actually got a couple more no spends than I was expecting. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Let's go into what I made some, where, how, whoa, okay. Calm down, brain. How much money I made this past week. So I believe we stopped on Tuesday last week. And let's do a little zoomy zoom. So I went delivery driving, made 37, delivery driving, delivery driving. Um, yeah, self-explanatory, right? So WTI, I made this much, including the little bonus that I got. And Etsy, I made 61. Um, so let's do... Let's count up everything. So today's number isn't finished. I went delivery driving during lunch and I plan on going back out after I film, edit, and upload this video. So we got 325. So right now our little drawing should be at the $1,500 mark. <gasps> wow, okay, wait. That's actually pretty good. Highlighter button, and we're gonna do it to full 100% capacity. Take my dropper, and I just color. So I kinda wish that I had um, put some designs on the pants, but I didn't. So here we are with some boring blue coloring. So we're just gonna do this. I definitely wish that I was able to color this more, but you know what? There's always next month. <laughs> Next month, hopefully, you guys will see the little sweater. I am going to be a lot more realistic with it. I think I think 3,000 is a healthy large goal. So that would have been 3,000. So yeah, next, next month, I think I'm going to attempt to get that much. Is what it is. I need to just keep moving forward. Now that I'm on my medication, I'm starting to get a little bit better. Um, there definitely is like a curve, not a learning curve, but like a physical curve when it comes to getting back onto medication. So I don't feel super great. And there's definitely days where I am just like a wreck, but uh, it will be better. And I've already noticed that the past two days, I'm able to go out driving more and stay out longer and 
my brain is a little more quiet, which if you know, you know, uh, it's a really good thing. So yeah, uh, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of story time. Oh my gosh. I didn't even show you guys my nails. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Okay, so these are Sailor Moon nails. They are by Ballerina and Stilettos. Her name is Leslie. She is the sweetest human being ever. Even if you can't, like, purchase these, if you could go show her Etsy shop some love, I'll leave it down below. She's just genuinely such an unbelievably sweet person and really deserves the support. And just how brilliant are these? So this one is based off of Sailor Moon, and this one is based off of Sailor Mercury who is my favorite. I, so fun fact, I didn't watch Sailor Moon until, like, two months ago. Yeah. I'm 22 years old, never seen Sailor Moon, wasn't really able to watch those things as kids. My, mo my mom and dad usually, like, were very careful about what we did and didn't watch, which was, like, good. Um, but because of that, like, I started getting into anime at, like, 18, and here I am. I finally watched Sailor Moon, and when I tell you guys, the community around this anime is insane. Like, the sweetest, most supportive people, and I really... I'm so glad that I watched it because I, like, I can't imagine not having that information in my brain now. Um, but yeah, so I, my nickname was Ami before I even knew. <laughs> um, granted, it's spelt differently. The Ami that I have in my name technically stands for, um, like a candy or a sweet. Like, there's not a real direct translation, but A-M-E is usually used for like candies, sweets, um, things like that. So yeah, but I just thought that was cool. Anyways, <laughs> um, I wanted to give you guys a short story time about what I said in my last video about my scholarship being lost. Basically, there was an error with the in between my two semesters where this, the college told me that my scholarship was going to be dropped. Um, because there was some sort of error in the paperwork and they were like so you're gonna have to pay but if you don't apply for courses then you are definitely going to lose your scholarship so I was like so you're telling me I have to apply for courses so that I don't lose my scholarship but if I do apply for courses and you don't figure out what's wrong with my paperwork I'm gonna have to pay full price for my courses and they were like yeah and I was like well there's a reason I have a scholarship. I cannot afford my course, these courses. So I didn't uh, get courses and it really sucked because there was a specific timeline and um, this was tight. The, so like I worked my butt off in high school to get this scholarship. It was a partial scholarship. It would fully pay for my AA besides my books and stuff or AS depending on the direction I wanted to go in. And then it would partially pay for my bachelor's, which at the time I wanted to be a dental hygienist. So that was the goal I was going towards. Um, fast forward back to the situation. They end up giving me an email. Enough time had passed where I hadn't signed up for courses and the time expired on my scholarship. I lost it a day later. It was like one or two days later. I was so livid. They were like, hey, we figured out what was wrong. Your social security number was inputted wrong on our end. So they messed up. But I wasn't allowed to get my scholarship back because the time had already expired on my scholarship because I couldn't afford the courses, which is why I had the scholarship. But then I had lost the scholarship and couldn't take the courses because I wasn't sure that I'd have my scholarship. So that was a really frustrating and very breaking experience. Like I, after that I was... Broken sounds exaggerated, but I genuinely remember the moment that I read the email that was like, you no longer have your scholarship. I felt broken. I'd worked so hard for that scholarship, and I know some people are going to be like, well, you should have just signed up for courses. I didn't know if I'd be able to pay those off. I was 19 at this time. 19? No, I was... Was I 19? I think I was 19 when this happened. I was 18 or 19. I was very young, and... My parents weren't in a position to pay for anything, so they knew the situation as well, but it was quite unfortunate that, like, that was what had to happen. And so after that, I was like, you know what, I just can't do this anymore. So I decided I would be done with college and I'd figure out something else. And I wouldn't say I'm thriving, necessarily. 
Um, but I also know that if I had become a dental hygienist, I would be more miserable than I am now. <laughs> I think that profession is amazing, but thinking about it now, it would not have been for me. Um, yeah, so that's the scholarship story. Um, super fun. So anyways, that's today's video. I appreciate you guys so much for being here and watching today's video, even though it was maybe not super exciting, but this is real life, right? And so this is what's going on with me right now. May is going to be a turnaround. I'm just going to keep saying it, even though it's not happening. We're going to keep saying it. It's going to be a turnaround. I got on my new meds. I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, I'm actually working. I swear, that was great. <laughs> and while I'm in Florida, I'm probably also going to be doing some door dashing because I can. So we're going to do that too. Um, yeah. That's it for today's video. I appreciate you guys so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!